Can men and women just be friends? It's a question people have been asking forever, from Hollywood movies to awkward coffee chats and even science labs. Let's look around the world to find the real answer. In the US, say 68% of couples started as friends. In Sweden, friendship before dating is common. It's part of their egalitarian culture. In Japan, close male-female friendships are rare due to traditional gender roles. In Mexico, physical affection like hugs or cheek kisses is normal. Even between friends, in India, public cross-gender friendships are increasing, but still socially sensitive. Research shows that 360% of people feel sexual attraction to their opposite-sex friends, but most never act on it. Why? They value the friendship more than a quick thrill. Self-control is a universal skill or a challenge. Alcohol blurs boundaries everywhere, from Korea to Germany to Brazil. The beer goggles effect makes everyone prettier, and judgment usually goes out the window. Our survey showed if a friend is attractive and single, most say friendship is harder. But if they're already in a relationship, people feel safer even if the friend is good-looking. Looks matter, but relationship status matters more. In Middle Eastern cultures, cross-gender friendship is rare and often private. In Western Europe, platonic friendships are more accepted. In Africa, communal values mean friendships often involve entire families. So, even the definition of friendship changes across borders. Can men and women just be friends? Yes, but it depends on culture, attraction, timing, and personal boundaries. It's not black and white. It's beautifully gray. What do you think? Can men and women really just be friends? Drop your comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.